Why do women moan during sex? Well, of course, because you are so, so good at it. Okay, if your ego cannot take any other answer than that, then click away real fast because you're not gonna like what I have to say. Today I am going to tell you about several reasons why women moan in bed and then also how and why we do it evolutionary speaking, so how it evolved in the first place and oh lordy I thought it was hilarious when I first read about it. Okay, number one, it might indeed be because you are really really good in bed and the woman cannot contain herself, I'll give you that, but there are also a few other reasons she might be crying out loud during intercourse. Number two would be that she wants to boost her partner's ego so they keep going and stay excited during the act and also to boost their confidence so much that the pair bond between the two strengthens. Because if you feel really good about yourself when being with her, you're gonna wanna feel that good more often and stick around for a few more rounds in the future. Which is biologically speaking super important to a woman who might carry a child and then have to keep it alive and get it to its reproductive age itself. Number three, no sex partner wants to hear that, but sometimes moaning and making sex sounds helps the woman's partner to get on with it and finish faster so that we can get back to our lives and get stuff done. So instead of just stopping, she might decide to make everything so hot that her partner will come as fast as possible. Number four, to signal that the current position pace action is real good and the partner should keep at it for the woman to achieve a big O. And number five, because she is in pain. I know, we keep forgetting this, but intercourse can happen to be painful and sometimes sex noises are actually just maybe an involuntary expression of this pain. Now to the real cool stuff. Obviously, these vocalizations have to come from somewhere, evolutionary speaking, because how did you think it evolved? Some really creative porn star set the measure? No, moaning during sex has been around for many, many years and has been found on so many branches of the phylogenetic tree. Let's look at our closest relatives, for example, the non-human primates. Do they vocalize during sex? Well, of course they do. And do they do that to show their partner how good he is and how thankful they are? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Because that's not a good enough reason for so many species to evolve sexual vocalizations. They need to make a biological sense, right? They need to be advantageous in a biological sense. So why do other female primates vocalize, and thus probably us as well? Let's agree that coital vocalizations fulfill an evolutionary purpose and that they serve as adaptive solutions to problems that the females face. And what can such problems be? Well, infanticide and obtaining as high quality sperm as possible, of course. Issues that stand in the way of producing offspring and making sure it survives long enough to mature and produce offspring itself. Infanticide is the intentional killing of infants and while in humans it is frowned upon, there are many species where it happens regularly. Lions, for example. If a new male lion comes into a group and kills off the previous male to take over the harem, he will also make sure to kill every offspring, especially the male ones there are in the groups at the time, because he knows it is not his offspring. It could in the future get dangerous for him, and if he kills it, the mother will soon be fertile again and available for his reproduction purposes. I know, this sounds horrible, and the mother should definitely stay away from such toxic masculinity, but in the end, that is how biology works. Animals are selfish, and we want to get our own genes into the next generation. To prevent the killing of their offspring, female baboons employ copulatory calls in order to attract other males, allowing multiple mating acts and creating parental confusion among the males involved. This results in an uncertainty of who the father is and hence reduces the occurrence of attacks given the newly incited risk of potentially harming their own offspring. On the other hand, mating in rapid successions with several different males ensures sperm competition taking place and therefore fulfills the additional function of obtaining high quality sperm. Sperm competition is a biological term which is basically describing the post-copulatory sexual selection whereby male ejaculates simultaneously physically compete to fertilize a single egg. The better quality sperm will make it and that way the mother has ensured the best genes available for her offspring. 
So why did those vocalizations evolve? Well, because they attract other males and this leads to sperm or even physical competition which ensures the high quality genes contributing to the offspring and also, or rather mainly, introducing paternity confusion and thus preventing attacks on the offspring because chances are that any of the males in the group could be the father, so every one of them will guard the offspring rather than killing it. I said mainly this one because the theory around sperm competition is kind of ruled out if you take the cycle stage into account. So, as you know, a female cannot get pregnant all the time, but only during specific stages of her menstrual cycle. If the point of coital vocalizations was to get as many partners and thus induce sperm competition, then you would only need to vocalize during your fertile days. But this is not the case, not for non-human primates and nor for humans nowadays. It is not advantageous to advertise when your fertile days are as a non-human primate because that would make the signs clear for the males and they would figure out who the father actually is more likely to be because of knowing who the female copulated with at that point in her cycle. So this is a point which indicates that maybe the parental confusion was and is a little bit more important in the evolution of sex noises. Another point to consider is that the attraction of multiple males to copulate with also ensures other kinds of non-genetic investment from the males like food or protection and other resources important to the female and her offspring, thus maximizing her reproductive success. So I'm really sorry for that, but the reason why humans moan during sex might be caused by several conscious or unconscious points we discussed in the beginning of this video, like wanting to get it over with or boosting the partner's ego, but they evolved to grab the attention and invite bystanding males. Yeah, <laughs> I love biology so, so much. I hope you do too. And if you do, I'm Margarita, an anthropologist and cognitive biologist, and I talk about the biology of humans, their behavior, cognition, and health every Friday. So do subscribe. And next week, I'm going to tell you how pollution is affecting your penis. So make sure to stop by. <laughs>